Hello there, and welcome to your Nento digital signage tutorial. First things first, to access the digital signage dashboard, you have to log into your Nento hub with your login credentials. When you've made it to the hub dashboard, you'll see a drop down menu next to SMS credits on the right upper corner of your screen. Please select the signage option, and if it asks again for your login credentials, please type them out one more time. Now, this is your digital signage dashboard. Here, you'll have all the reports of your screens, storage usage, status, and more. The screen section is very important, since here you'll be able to know if you can share and update the content that is displayed on your screens. Under status, if the small dot next to the live snapshot is green, that means that your digital box is online and connected to the internet. If it shows up as gray, that means that the box is offline. It isn't connected to the internet. So you might wanna check that your ethernet cable is properly connected to the digital box, or if you decided to connect it to the Wi-Fi, that the network is stable and that the internet speed is good. First, please ensure that on your TV, you've selected the right HDMI input that you've connected your digital box into. Now, to connect your digital box to the Wi-Fi, please press the home button on the remote that came with the box. You'll be redirected to the main menu. Here, please select the settings option and then network. Now, you just have to select your private Wi-Fi network and insert the password. Please ensure that at the end, it says successfully connected. If it doesn't, this might be because the internet modem you're trying to connect is too far away from the digital box. You can try connecting it to the hotspot of your cell phone to ensure that it is working properly. Once you're successfully connected, press the home button again in the main menu, select the option called apps or my apps and open the Nento app player, which should be the first app to show up on the list. Now you should be seeing the Nento image you saw at the beginning when you first connected your digital box. Now coming back to the digital signage dashboard, on the left side menu, the section screens is just the same window that you can preview in the dashboard with the difference that if you have requested for additional digital boxes, you'll be able to see all of them here. Now we will proceed to templates under the playlist feature on the left side menu. In the predefined window, you'll find a great variety of templates that you can choose to customize. In case you don't see a lot of them, you just have to refer to the category button on the right upper corner and select all. Again, every single template in here is customizable and you can enter all the information and upload the pictures you would like to showcase. For now, let's learn how to upload our own images to the Nento digital signage. If you access the edit assign window, you'll stumble upon a template we've assigned for you as a part of your setup. This template is called slideshow common template, perfect to display images one after the other. To update or edit a template you have already created, please refer to the three gray dots that are in the corner of that specific template and select the option update template. Now we expand the blue row by clicking on it. We will see the same image that is currently displayed on our TV. For this template, we can keep one static picture like this example that we have, or we can choose to have several pictures displaying one after the other. To add more pictures, we just have to click on the plus button below duration. And if we ever want to decrease the number of pictures, we just need to click on the cross button next to the picture we want to delete. We can also edit the duration of the pictures and the animation we want them to have every time that they change. Moving forward, to upload our own images, we just need to pass our mouse over the image and click choose from library. In this window, we will see the images that we've previously uploaded. Right now, we might see that the Nento image our team has set up for you. On the right upper corner of this window, there's an upload new media button. If we click on it, a smaller window will show up. Here, we just need to press the choose file button. And now you just have to select an image of your preference that's stored in your computer. After you've double clicked on the picture, please remember to press on the blue button that says upload. The picture won't be stored to your digital signage dashboard until you click on the upload button. If you followed all the steps, you'll be able to see the picture in the window we were before in called My Libraries. Now, to select the picture so that it can go 
into the template, you just have to press the blue circle on top of the picture of your choice. If you're happy with the results, we just need to save the template. Now, if you'd like to preview a template in your computer before displaying it on your TV, you can do that by referring again to the three dots and selecting the option preview. Now, to share it, we will refer to the same three dots, but this time selecting the option Publish to Screens. We will select the screen of our preference and that's it. Give it a few minutes for the image to update on your TV. The amount of time this process takes will depend on the internet speed that you have connected your digital boxes to. If the image is taking too long to update, you can try connecting your digital box to another and better Wi-Fi network. Let's move forward to the last part of this tutorial. Let's try editing a template with much more information than just pictures. Again, in Predefined, you'll find all the templates we offer. So let's try editing menu with description and promo. Once again, refer to the three dots in the corner of the template and select update. Depending on the template you choose, there will be different sections you can edit. This template only has two sections that you can edit by clicking on the blue row you want to start with. In this case, the first is the menu list. We can try changing a little bit of the text here just for educational purposes. If there are too many categories of items in the template, you can easily delete them by pressing the cross button next to them or, by, or add more by pressing the plus button. Also, at the end of every section, you'll usually find some more customization tools, like here, where you can change the font size and font color. Let's proceed with the second section in this template, called Logos and Promos. Here, you have the possibility to add some pictures to the template by following the same steps that we did before. If you scroll down a little bit more, you'll see you can even add a picture of your logo and use an image or color as a background. If you'd rather use a color, make sure you untick this box and select a color of your preference. Again, there will be some more customization tools depending on the template you choose. Finally, don't forget to press the save button. Otherwise, all your changes will be lost. Since this is a test, Let's go ahead and name this template. Now, since we aren't sure if we are ready to publish it, we'll just select the button called Continue Update. Let's close this window and try to preview this template. At this point, you might be wondering, where did my template go? The answer is, all the templates that you customize and save will be stored in the Edit Assign window. For previewing and publishing, don't forget to refer to the three gray dots on the corner of the template. And now, we have completed the digital signage training with Nento. Now you just have to take the time to explore and play around with the templates we have to offer. Have fun designing.